I would like to say thank you Lord thank you God for this wonderful and beautiful day yeah friends I would just like to share my small opinion on Dr. Pankaj Gupta as for now many of us we know who Dr. Pankaj Gupta is through social media and through his videos yeah friends uh, I just wanted to share my personal uh, opinion this this is nothing uh, requested by Pankaj Gupta or anyone yeah friends uh, first of all I would just like to say that is uh, I had met Mr. Pankaj Gupta Dr. Pankaj Gupta in the year 2019 once uh, and uh, during a small press meet and there I had an opportunity to have one small video interaction with him promoting his uh, uh, project, upcoming project that was a uh, stage work of T-Series in Nagaland, Dimapur. Yeah, friends, and uh, after that, uh, I again, I happened to meet him for the second time. Uh, I met him once again in Kathmandu, uh, where he stays with his wife. And uh, as for me and what I've seen, I, I feel, I feel, no, what I want to say is that he, he, he according to me, he's a quite a successful person who has <coughs> achieved uh, success in his life through in, in uh, all spheres of his life I believe like uh, fashion fashion like he has already got uh, uh, boutique showrooms and all and uh, there I met him and I met uh, his wife also out there and both of them they are a very fine couple and uh, yes and after that uh, after some time again Again, I was I came back to Nagaland. So again, later after some two three months, again I saw his uh, one promotion that one uh, he he was busy for his promotion of uh, the highest uh, altitude fashion runway, Mount Everest fashion runway, uh, with with his brand called Casa, and uh, it's very much uh, well known brand in Kathmandu, and I I believe all over the world because like they have they. Do, According to him, they do good amount of important exports of uh, this casa. And just friends, and uh, after that, uh, after some time, that, that was the two time I had met him physically. And uh, after some time, this lockdown, uh, amid of the lockdown, slowly, like I happened to see some of his videos of helping the people, reaching out people, and uh, his love for the Naga people, I could see in his activities because the publicly and openly he used to uh, request people to support the Naga students out there in Delhi or in from different states and he was also busy uh, making videos and uh, saying requesting the government and he was always uh, raising voice against the discriminations and all I could see that and uh, yes and uh, though I don't have very close uh, connection or say very close relationship relation with him we call each other as brothers and uh, but I could see that and he, he used to <coughs> most of the time he used to make videos and he used to share me the links also saying that to share it and uh, according to uh, him and what he has told me before it, it is like uh, he was born and brought up from Dimapur Brahma camp and it seems like he had also passed out his metric class then from the same school where I was studying so, and uh, after that, uh, later on, I came to know that I came to saw that uh, uh, I came I came to see that uh, he was uh, stuck in Indonesia because of the lockdown, and from there also he was helping out. And uh, but uh, after he came down to after he came down to India in the Delhi, it seems like uh, he he made one video questioning the government of Nagaland and uh, he started questioning uh, the of your officials of the COVID-19 uh, management so right after that uh, video it seems like a volcano it seems like a, a volcano has erupted something like uh, because like uh, in this uh, in the common in the comment section itself we can see and the likes in his YouTube also we can just see we can just uh, differentiate that how much people they support what he has said but uh, there are some points to which even I agree and uh, at the same time there are some points to which I don't agree too. 
I don't uh, directly support him at the same time. I don't. I don't. I indirectly. I mean, like, I don't at the same time. I don't dislike also because there are some points he has uh, spoken, which are very much uh, valuable or we say very much valid up to the points. And uh, but uh, there are some points which uh, has, uh, which seems to be directly attacking, attacking the government and. Uh, uh, questioning the government in uh, such a lo such a level that uh, the government is totally uh, incompetent. So, yeah, it, uh, the video might have hurt many of us. At the same time, the video might have uh, also motivated or encouraged us. But uh, but friends, uh, one thing that uh, I have learned through his, uh, through his video is that uh, to raise voice, to raise voice. I think uh, we need guts for that, and he did that. And yes, uh, to be honest, uh, no matter uh, a person is Naga by blood or non or not Naga by blood, be Naga or non Naga, when a person uh, like everybody, they love their birthplace. Number one thing. So I think uh, in that point, even Pankaj Gupta might have made that video. So please, uh, I have one request. That is, please, I think we should also not. Uh, too much uh, uh, make a differences or try to create some problems because of his origin because many times uh, we happen to see uh, most of the time in the past also that uh, whenever the government uh, whenever there the people or whistleblowers or say uh, anti-corruption activists they start raising voice people they start uh, digging out their past people they start digging out their mistakes people they start uh, uh, finding, uh, they begin to do research on how the background, how they, from where they origin, what is the status, how much they earn, everything. People they start doing this. So I think, uh, and because of that, morally people they try to attack in short. So like, uh, more because people they know that uh, human being, we we all know that uh, nobody likes to be attacked morally. So it was uh, that was done to him. And second thing, his qualifications and all, yeah. So friends, uh, I'm not here to justify, but uh, I just wanted to say, let's uh, be reasonable, because uh, end of the day, government is the, belongs to the people. It is uh, uh, like uh, Mr. Beat Pankaj or Beat anyone, whoever attacks the government is attacking the common people, everyone, because it's questioning everyone. Because who elects the government? Government is being elected by the people, so which means indirectly it is direct, directly questioning the whole people which means the system is fully corrupted. So uh, let's, uh, try to, let's try to analyze what he's trying to say and why he's raising his voice. Let's try to know that. And uh, let's try to find out what is the problem. That is my only message. And uh, it's very much, uh, I feel very pity for him. I am very much sad also at the same time because uh, it seems like the house where he was staying and she was saying that uh, he was saying that uh, the lady in, in whose house he's, he was staying seems to be his sister. He was saying sister Buinia, whatever it is. But now it comes. Uh, now we are coming to know that um, even the lady she has, uh, it's in, she is not standing with her with him at the moment. And uh, it seems like uh, according to the application of uh, I mean according to his applications to the uh, different student bodies, it seems like he is sleeping in the streets since last five days, five six days. So friends, uh, because like I uh, see, the truth and effect thing is, uh, even in the, like even the religious books, uh, Bible, it says that uh, never uh, question, uh, never, never argue with the people who are power, in power or who are in, uh, uh, who are in power or who has the authority, because like uh, it is, it's said in the Proverb, book of Proverbs, I believe. So, but this guy, he boldly, he, he has questioned the government and also he has alleged. So I think uh, we must try to differentiate and uh, I think we must at the same time, if it's valid and if it's up to the point, if uh, his points are making, make some sense, I think we must also help him in an intellectual way. Not uh, now because like, uh, but uh, there are some points which I don't, I don't agree at the same time. I don't agree at all in his point. Uh, in his points, like uh, he, uh, the point where he said that uh, the government is br trying to bring the COVID-19 patients and spread it out in the state so that the government will get a huge amount of uh, relief funds from the center. 
why I don't agree is because like uh, no matter what, uh, be it stepfather, I don't think so. Even stepfathers will do like it, or no the stepmothers. So I don't believe that. And uh, but he, he's just assuming that maybe. So in that point, I don't agree with him. But whereas in the other points, like not uh, about the ten thousand and four thousand cases and all. Okay, chalo, okay. As a citizen, one has a uh, one has a right to question. But uh, there are some points to which uh, I really don't agree. And second thing, uh, <clears throat> I have a one message that is uh, a responsible citizen. A responsible citizen um, has a right to question the government also. And at the same time, uh, being a citizen, it, it is not that we have every right to question the government. There also a responsible citizen must also help the government. That is also second thing. We must not always question, put up questions in the government. There, we must also give something to the government. Like uh, John F. Kennedy, he had said that, <clears throat> ask not what your country can give you. Sometimes that uh, we must also question ourselves. That ask yourself, ask ourselves that what we can contribute to, to the government. Because uh, at at the moment it's a global pandemic. Uh, the whole world is suffering. Not only Nagaland, a country like even U.S. it's suffering. A country like U.S. superpower. They've bowed down before the coronavirus. So uh, all these things. So uh, and corruption means. Uh, uh, see, friends. Uh, to be honest, corruption. It is from the root itself, not only at the top level. So only questioning the top top level. I don't think so. That is. Um, it na, I don't think so. That is the right decision of the uh, citizens, because uh, we we find corruption from the low level. Bribery, everything is from the low level. So if we if we really want a corruption free, free state or corruption free nation or country, I I I I believe that <clears throat> it must begin from the grassroots level. If we really want to eradicate this corruption, because uh, I don't think so. Just questioning or questioning the government, the heads, the leaders, or just pointing at them will make sense. So as a responsible citizen, let's strive for the change. Let's help the government for, huh? because I don't believe all the leaders are corrupted. There are there are leaders who thinks good only for the people, who wants development for the people. But there there is something again that's pulling down them. So let's try to find those things. What is miss? What is that thing that is pulling them down, or that is uh, that is hindering over their mission or their projects? Let's try to find out that. Why only point finger at them, or why only protest against them? So this is my small message, and uh, <coughs> uh, uh, please don't think that I am with Mr. Pankaj and I'm trying to uh, cover up him. Please don't take like that. Neither uh, I'm making this video just so for fame. No, please no, don't think like that. I just wanted to say because uh, we need to analyze because it's a modern 21st. Uh, it's a it's a modern world. It's a technology technology world. It's easy to find out, and every like as Pankaj Gupta had said, that is very much true. That anyone can art, uh, file an RTI, anyone. And recently, one of my friend even he had filed an RTI, and <clears throat> now uh, he, he he has to be around his bodyguards 24/7 as a whistleblower. So like, uh, whenever we question the corruption or any like these things, something bad is going to happen. Uh, like not bad, money situation becomes different. So, I think first of all, my only message is let's try to find out what is the main root of the corruption. Just um, breaking the head, I don't think so. It will break the, it will uproot corruption. To uproot corruption, we must reach to the low level from. And first of all, ourselves, practically ourselves, we must be a person who is against corruption. Our activity should be against corruption. Our behavior should be against corruption. If not, I don't think so. Corruption will end. And thank you so much. And I believe uh, through this small video, I believe you have learned something. Or if not, then also fine. You can just put it in the comment section. And yes, this is not a script video. So many, uh, I believe I've made many mistakes, grammar mistakes or pronunciation mistakes. Please forgive me. Do support. Thank you so much. And uh, that's all. And stay home, stay safe. And kya uh, karega? Oh yeah, and yes, humanity is alive. Thank you all. Bye.